Welcome to the demonstration of the NetSuite Supply Chain Control Tower. In this video, I'll show how the Intelligent Predicted Risks functionality can predict delays for purchase, sales, and transfer orders. I am logged into the Supply Chain Control Tower dashboard in the Merchandising Manager role. The Control Tower dashboard gives me real-time insights into the status and health of my entire supply chain. It provides user configurable, exception-based reporting, reminders, and alerts, as well as key performance indicators that are pertinent to my role. Allow me to call attention to the predicted risk portlet. The predicted risk portlet provides intelligent predictions derived from machine learning to assess readiness and the ability to deliver orders on time. Based on that analysis, I see that there are potential issues that require my attention. Notice I have some purchase orders that may be late as well as some transfer orders and some sales orders. Let's take a look at one of them. I have a purchase order for the AlphaTet fitness trackers expected to arrive on November 30th. Notice the insights tiles. Based on the analysis of past performance with AlphaTech, the supply chain control tower has created a predicted risk of five days late and a 90% confidence that this vendor will deliver. Before I consider possible solutions, I want to make sure I have a complete picture of this product supply chain. So let's click into the view current snapshot. I see we have a quantity of 100 units already located in Chicago and another 30 that are on hand in San Francisco. I see that there's a purchase order uh, for the 200. That's the purchase order in question. And notice I also see two sales orders for quantities 50 and 100 scheduled to ship on 12.2 and 12.7. I can easily see if this purchase order is five days late, both of those sales orders could be at risk for late shipment as well. This gives me a clear view into my current position. In the recommendations section, NetSuite proposes some specific actions I can take to prevent this disruption from happening. I see that our first recommendation is to consider rescheduling the purchase order for five days earlier, this to cover the spread of the late arrival risk. In recommendation number two, NetSuite asks me to consider changing vendors to beta tech. However, beta tech appears to be even less reliable than alpha tech, as much as eight days late with only an 80% confidence that they can deliver on time. So let's stick with alpha tech. I'm gonna go back to recommendation number one, and I'm going to accept that recommendation. So who do I need to contact in order to get this order rescheduled? Let's click into the purchase order. And once we're in the purchase order, we can bring up the vendor record and looking at that vendor record, I can see uh, my contact list. I can see Bill Curtis is my contact and I can see a record of all communications that we've had with Alpha Tech. And earlier today, I already emailed Bill and asked him to reschedule this purchase order. I can see that email and I can see our response here. Bill has confirmed that the purchase order ship date is now November 25. All that's left to do is to update the purchase order with the new arrival date. So let's close out the vendor record and we're back in the purchase order and we'll go into edit mode and we will change our expected receipt date of this purchase order from 11.30 to 11.25. We'll save that purchase order and we'll go ahead and close it. Back on the predicted risk, we can see that the AlphaTech fitness tracker is no longer part of that. And if we go back to the control tower dashboard, we can see that the AlphaTech tile has disappeared from our predicted risk portlet. Now I can tackle other predicted risk challenges in the same way. Thank you for watching this demonstration.